seven. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> That's what it is in the first game. Like, I was at 6-4, I think, but, like, Island 7 in those games is impossible. 8 is actually not that hard. They just usually speed them up. The weird thing about this is like I hate the f there's only one little person jumping and just like why did he animate that one person like not why nobody else? Skis likes to assimilate, assimilate. Well, you can, if, you, if you're saying you miss Duty World Runner, you can go back and watch the feed. Um, not gonna lie, you'll see me play. That was play. not good. That was, was that, good? that was not good. That was better than the first time I played. <laughs> Yeah, 89%! Two out of four, eight, That's eight. not bad. Is there an ending to this? No? Well, you just play it until you get gold medals. Oh, okay. There's only four songs. Alright, so that was D-Pad Hero, everybody. Up next is what, Jackal? Jackal. Jackal is up next. Great music. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one with the tank and the... the, the oh, no, the car that jumps, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, need a, you need a partner? Uh, is that, is that legal? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll jump in with a partner. You want to play with him, Dan? Uh, <laughs> sure. I was just going to commentate. I haven't played that game forever. I might hold him back, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know one of those things where you share continues? I'll oh, no, it. man. Do it yourself. I'll screw you up. <laughs> well, I think the second player, uh, if you die, you just kind of hang out until you continue to gather or whatever. Oh, really? So if I'm still going, you'll just kind of sit there. Uh, what's going on? Check out who else is here up there. Did Rich and all leave? They did leave. I don't know if Annabella plays the game or not. Probably not, no. Are you three games a night? Or? Yeah. There you go, man. All right. Jackal. <laughs> Unless you need two players later on. All right, we're doing Jackal one for... Seven, seven, eight, seven, eight seven or eight stages in Jackal? We only have the internet to flip this off. Awesome, play it glitched. Play it glitched for extra heart. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The game you can play with a Jeep and a helicopter. Yeah, so Skeez, if you want to go back and uh, check out um, 3D World Runner, uh, basically you, you'll see me on level 4 for like a good 25 minutes. It was, it was messing me up for some reason. And then I, I progressed pretty steadily until level 8-4, for which I'm literally playing level 8, four, eight for like... Oh god, at least an hour and a half. It was it was ridiculous. I just I just could not do it. Uh it should be under um Beard or Die Trying, I think it's like the second episode. He's in the first encampment. A lot of people don't know the story of this game, but basically, you're just really drunk driving around killing innocent villages and people for no reason whatsoever. Um, and then you get your buddy in a helicopter, and they're just like, hey man, we're bored, let's just go to slaughter an entire nation. Alright! And that's the story behind Jackal. That's what I was trying to find on the key oh, facts. <laughs> Not really working so well. It's like 20 minutes or something. It's about, oh, beaten in under 10 minutes. Oh, alright, speedrun. 7 minutes and. This game can be beaten in 7 minutes and 51 seconds. You can do it! You can do it, man! You just kill everything! Wow! I don't think you kill anything. You probably just go through the game. Yeah. Probably just runs through it. Is it glitchy? Do you want me to start it over? I can clean it up. Awesome! He is playing the game so hardcore, he made it glitch. He broke it with the pure power of his fingers, people. <laughs> I got a game fact for the speed walkthrough to tell you how to do it. 
Only 16, yep, you're right. There's an in-depth fact in the speed walkthrough. Let's see how this works. Oh, no! According to speedrun, you're only supposed to kill POW buildings and screw everything else. <laughs> go straight and right, shoot POW, go to boss. It's not a really good walkthrough. That's right, it's gonna get the POWs out. According to speedrun, you only, you only Nothing else matters. Yeah, like, I guess those guys you don't get? Or uh, do you? I, and then the POWs, aren't they? I believe so. Are you supposed to get them all? I think so. Is that how you beat the game? Yeah, you didn't even do anything. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I believe- oh, there's the helicopter! Player 2 just joined it and left. <laughs> yeah, he's turning into letters! Now this is a game! This is old school goodness! The game no- yes, he's t 789, baby! He's found the secret code! He's- oh, 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 eight, eight, he's going backwards! 24, 30, these are the- these are the numbers from Lost. It means something. Backwards <laughs> 24. Backwards TTO. You know a lot of people with that G. Go 789. That's the new. That's the new uh, feed. This feed should be called for now on. Retitled Go 789. He's invincible. 789 cannot be stopped. Here we go. 789 is gonna take on the boss. It is. It is a. I don't know what it is. 789 has destroyed the blue Picasso. Oh, he's turned one yellow. He's doing it! He's got it! You don't need to know. 789. Hey, here? <laughs> he's fine. He's at level R. RV 27 SWTX. SWTX. Yeah, he's in Texas. So in Texas, oh, okay, we, this is way more funny. You should keep going. The feed's loving it. Oh! We're gonna try one more time. They're gonna try one more time. After that, we're gonna have to cancel it. Oh, but 789 was a hero. You were kicking ass in that. You just got into Texas. I didn't know. You found it. Technical difficulties. I don't know, man. You were killing the glitch game. Yeah, I I've never seen anyone turn it into a backwards 789 and... I've never, I've never seen letters appear in there. That is awesome. That code is breaking. Uh, maybe it was Tron trying to come out of the MCP. That's why I love old games. Game glitch, glitch, that game glitches. You can't patch that shit. That's old school. That's there for life. You can get on the last level and that happens. You're playing through it. Oh, I remember that. I think one of the weirdest glitches I got was I was playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and for some reason he turned teal, like the color of um like King Hippo's like helmet thing. He just he turned teal. And I was like, what the? I got one punch in, and the game froze. My seven-year-old son on the Punch Out Wii, he here he went undefeated on uh, Contender mode. Oh really? Yeah, and then uh, he could do uh, time defense, beat Sandman. Nice. I, yeah, seven years old. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> he does it. He, he gets yeah. star punches. I was like, do they ever have a weed punch out, uh, beat it or die trying? I'm signing you up. You're the youngest. Nice. <laughs> I, 
think, uh, I didn't know that it was only episode four. Of the oh, this one's even more glitched! This thing blowing it! No, just <laughs> Some technical difficulties. Uh, let's see. Skis, yeah. There should be more than episode four. There should be nothing. I don't know if they took them down or not. Because there was, uh, all of them were archived. So, I, from my understanding, they were all up there. Or if they asked Jesse, maybe they took them down or he, like, changed. There we go. Last shot. Alright, here we go again. This battle will be for blood. It will boil. Alright. Coming out. Maybe I should join the second play with the helicopter. We'll get 7, 8, 9 and, and get a little flush going or something. Alright. It's got the POWs. Looks pretty good so far. No glitches. Nothing says American Jeep like shoving a missile up somewhere. <laughs> That guy's just a night guard. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> all right, it looks like we're not glitching anymore. They're all saying, come on, 789. <laughs> <laughs> that is Jeremy Duffy's new handle, Jeremy789. <laughs> it's an awesome gamer tag, 789. <coughs> Alright, now we can see who the bosses are. They're blue tanks. These are nowhere near as interesting as this. <laughs> The Picasso is... Oh, no! The Jeep got hit. Alright, he lost a life. Still good to go. Alright, level one is beat. Here? They obviously are drunk as can be. Have no idea where they're at. I told you the story of this game. They're just drunk and on a hell-bent rampage. They slaughter everybody. It's just the worst military people ever. Yeah, here's 789. <laughs> He's just running over people. These aren't even soldiers, man. Like, that guy's the chef. He joined the military to learn how to cook, and he is just, you know, just trying to deliver some mac and cheese. And 789 is like, no, man, you're going to give people diabetes because we're all too fat and just taking them out. Cause that's what 789 does. He's driving around Rome in the, in the Parthenon just killing everybody. 789 has no mercy for anybody. <laughs> Roadkill, that's right. Like that guy, that was just... Oh, look at that! So supposedly the speedrun of this game is in 7 to 10 minutes and he's gonna try and speedrun it and just say, screw it. It's the evil enemy jeeps. Those are 987. Awesome Medusa heads. Makes perfect sense in a video game. Here we go. Boss fight. Four Medusa heads. One turret. They shoot missiles. Because I would expect nothing less. Alright, he's got one down. That was the nagging of the four sisters here. He's working on the right one. Oh, he's got a couple. Got, alright, two down, two to go. One down, little brown tank. Alright, here we go. And he's got it. Stage two is beat. Yeah! <laughs> See? I told you, they're all high on cocaine, flying through, unknown play, just slaughtering people. These poor villagers, man, they're just, hey man, what's going on? Oh, look at this now. He somehow is magically transported into a level from X-Men, from LJN.
Shadow Ninja for life. If anybody, we actually saw a movie here last night at Arcade Legacy known as Miami Connection. I highly recommend that anybody who wants to see an amazing B-movie to check this out. Uh, it was actually thought lost for all time because in uh, 2004, oh, I got here, he's taken out. 2004, um, they lost the negatives due to the hurricane. But because of fans and, and movie buffs who had like copies of it, they spliced it back together and re-released it on Blu-ray. Uh, it, basically what it is, is it's a bunch of Miami ninjas who ride motorcycles. That's, that's right. And they are cokeheads. They just go around stealing cocaine and money, and they hate this band known as Dragon Power. And, or Dragon Fort. Dragon Power? Yeah, Dragon Power. And they sing positive songs about, about friendship, friendship and loyalty. And, and then they, they just, just go around killing each other, and that's about it. Great movie. movie. We laughed insanely hard. Nothing better than cocaine up ninjas. <laughs> right? It's called Miami Connection. I seriously haven't laughed that hard in a long time. It has some of the worst and most pointless scenes I've ever seen in any movie. There's actually a music class in there where the guy is actually, like, they're really doing music theory. Like, he's like, play an A harmonic minor scale. Very good. Now play the chorus of A harmonic minor scale. Very good. Now play the original composition. And the guy does it. And that's the whole scene. It has nothing to do with the movie. Oh, there's always a guy in, in every single shot that has to have his shirt off. Dragon Sound. That's who it is. Best band ever. Here we go. He's taking out the yacht, but what you don't know is the Scientology yacht. <laughs> He's against L. Ron Hubbard, taking him down. Is there an echo? Let's see if there's an echo. I don't hear an echo on my end, but tell me if there's an echo, we'll fix it. Here? Alright, let me get Jesse, see if we can hear the echo. Is there an echo now? Is there an echo? Yes, there is still. Okay, I'm gonna pass stuff. Yeah, I didn't hear it. No, no, I just hear the game. I hear an echo there. How about now? Anyone hear an echo? Any echo? No, I don't hear it. Test, test, test. Can you hear an echo? Test one, test two. Okay. Okay. Alright. So 
Orlando? That's weird. Uh, who said it on the, the board either? Must be a feedback loop. Will you die? Oh, I'm supposed to you? How many continues on the game? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll get like four. Oh, okay. Alright, we're, we're gonna still try to figure out the echo here. Alright, let's try this. Alright, is there an echo still? Alright, we fixed the echo! Just a couple board resets. Yes, you are, Megatron. Okay. He is in the uh, obligatory NES poop colored level. <laughs> Alright, it's progressing nicely. Here we go, boss fight. Alright, it's got the towers out. Two of the tanks. Alright, another tank. Actually, I haven't done how to fight this boss. Oh, there's more turrets. There we go. Alright, he's got to destroy the doors. The little garage door. Oh, no. He took a hit. Alright. Two doors to kill out of four. Alright, one more to kill. Yeah, and now he's gonna take out the, the gate. Right, you did it! On to stage five! Here? They're still lost, see? See, this is why drugs are bad. These people don't know where the hell they're at and they're just, they're just, they're freaking lost killing everybody. Stay off meth, kids. Yeah, meth is a hell of a drug. Watch Breaking Bad. Heisenberg will tell you that. Blue mask, Heisenberg. <laughs> Nobody does this stuff on alcohol. Well, maybe a little bit of alcohol. I believe he's on the last stage. This is it. He's gonna do it for America. <laughs> right, we gotta do an enemy, an airplane. We could have done this two players. <laughs> the helicopter. And the, oh, two two jeeps. I'm thinking of the other game. Oh no, we got hit. 
Alright, those POWs are dead. That is a very good question. I think as children we all try to like get everything we possibly could in the game. But as adults maybe we're just like, you know what man, I got stuff to do, let's just go. <laughs> oh, it's not the right way! We have to go back! Level options! The enemy jeep. Those are the planes from Top Gun. We take them out. No one will have to play that awful game. The fact that Top Gun has a sequel still to this day amazes me. I don't think anyone has ever played Top Gun 2. I would want to play Top Gun 2. It's awful. Alright. Lots of jeeps, lots of tanks. He's dodging them. Doing a good job. It's almost at the end of this level. Oh! Alright, this might be his last continue. Is that it? Number two. Number two continue. Usually two or three continues. One or two more. You got four lives though, man. You got this. You're a good dad for buying him a $1 NES game. I've actually turned some of my little cousins onto the NES. They, uh, it's interesting because the only system they've ever played has been like PlayStation 3 and 360 and Wii, so they didn't even know these systems existed. So I showed them, uh, like, you know, Mario Brothers 3 and stuff like that, and they're absolutely in love with it, uh, which is, there's hope for the future. <laughs> no more first person shooters. Yeah, the car is great turning, man. The handling on it is phenomenal. Look at that, look at that, man! He's doing donuts, he's got a rocket launcher, shooting grenades. We just don't get that anymore in American-made cars. We said, screw those POWs, you should have been there in the first place, we're going to the boss. Alright. Oh, it took a hit. Alright. Gotta watch out for that trick that's coming up with that explosive thing. God, there's turrets everywhere. Well, for this game, turrets everywhere. It's not like a bullet hell game. I have to say, this game does have pretty good music, but it is Konami, so I don't expect you know anything less. Oh, all right. That was the brother of the Mega Man guys who pop up. Oh, here, oh, look at this. He's got it. His tanks are nothing. That's the drunk guy who came late to the party. Lots of tanks. Here we go. Oh, not the boss yet. See these missile shafts? Oh, oh, oh! Stupid ass escalator is right. Yeah, this is a long level. There's the M. Bison skull triangle. <laughs> I don't care what anyone's. Oh, here we go, the final boss. It's it's a giant building with turrets on it. Laser turrets. Oh no, we got a hit! Last life! Oh, I gained a life! Oh, you got one! You got you gained a life! Awesome! We're doing good! You gained a life! Alright, you're gonna turn us down, and... He's, yeah, take that building with blinking lights! We're taking you out! Let's just say it's the IRS building, because taxes is almost upon us. We ain't paying taxes! <laughs> I got a jeep with a grenade. Oh, no! I think you're supposed to hit the thing in the middle. Yeah, just to hit it a bunch of times. And hardest last boss in history. Oh, watch out for the tank! He did it! Yeah! <laughs> he has beaten Jackal! 
Oh no! Look at this surprise! The building is a giant tank with a ridiculously big mustard gun. Yeah, because Jackal has one weakness. Mustard. No one likes that much mustard at all. This is, this is going to be tricky. I think you found a good safe spot, man, over there. I'm going to just throw some grenades and take your time. Yeah, come at me, bro. What you got? Oh, no. All right, last life. Yeah, this boss wouldn't be that hard if it wasn't for that stupid, like, turret gun shooting the bullets constantly. Oh, no. He's got it. This is his last continue, right? Oh, no. I don't know. Find out. Oh, no. He's back at the beginning. Yeah, I might have to upgrade your stuff before you go fight him. At least this game's fairer than uh, Ninja Gaiden. God, I remember mean, if anyone's ever played Ninja Gaiden and got into like Jockeyo and then died and had to go back to like 6-1 and start the whole thing over again, it's ridiculous. I don't envy the person who's going to try and attempt to play that game live. It's one of the few games I can usually beat like 50-50 shot I can beat that game. Alright, let's drop off some POWs, upgrade his weapons. Oh, and he took a cheap shot from a helicopter. Die again. Two lives left. Oh no! A stupid manhole got him again. He's got one life. He's on his last continue, we believe. Maybe there's a fifth, the fifth tank coming up. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, he got out of there! He got an extra life, alright! Doing good, doing good! Alright, watch out for the missile! On the escalator! Oh, there's two, oh, two missiles! Oh, he got them, he got them both! Stupid escalator! See, so he's just going straight through, he's like, screw this! Alright, here we go, last boss time! He's got two chances, two lives, last continue. Will he beat it or die trying? Oh no, he took an early hit! He's got the tanks out, shooting grenades. He's got to take the turrets out or else he's never. Okay, he's got one turret. Alright. It's a lot of, a little easier now. Oh, oh got it. He's got it. Oh, two more tanks coming in. All right, he's got him down. All he's got to do now is shoot the building. Then watch out for the mega tank. Right. Oh, he's doing good. Oh, watch out! Take behind you. Take behind you. Oh, he's, oh, oh, he's okay. He's last life. Last life. Here we go. He's doing his thing. One more shot, and oh, oh, another tank, another tank behind him. He's got it, oh, another tank. <laughs> He's got it, oh, it's the third tank, oh, God, oh, mega tank! <laughs> mega tank, here we go. Stay out of the view of the mustard gun. <laughs> the view of the way, jeez, I can't speak. 
No lives, no life continues. If you can get rid of that little gun, he's got this. Oh. Oh. Positive hit. Oh, that was close. That was close. We got him. Oh, we got him again. Alright, let's get the pattern down. Let's pile this boss takes like 20 hits. Tension's high. <laughs> oh, he turned around! He's getting he's getting banned! Like all good 8-bit games, when you're pissed off, you change color, god damn it. He's gone to red! He's into red! It's getting serious now! Yeah! I did it! Take that, Mega Tank! You're nothing! On this day of February, was it 6th? Yeah, it's the 6th. It's the 6th. Jeremy Duffy has beaten Jackal. Well done! Your mission accomplished! We didn't rescue no one, but we did it. We didn't say shit, but we killed everybody along the way. And the sun is melting into a giant ocean of Sunny D. That's the helicopter from Contra. 789 for the win. 789. I'm pretty sure that's Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid, yeah. <laughs> it's programmed by Hori. Just Hori. Hori programmed it. <laughs> Fujawa. All right. He did it. Jeremy Duffy, the champion of Jackal on February 6th. Him and his four drunken friends in the jeep just slaughtered an entire nation. Wait, there's a face smoking. You got a joint or something. Look at his fingers out there. I know. Yeah, he's smoking a joint. He is. You're right. The highest shit that, that this entire journey through Jackal, they were just doped up on all kinds of drugs. That's why the colors are messed up. They're high. Hey, one out of two, man. Yeah, I know. Woo! They should be going empty-handed like this guy. Oh, uh, what is that? I beat 720. Oh, yeah. We didn't see the ending all the way. We didn't know what happened at the end. Oh. Uh, uh, they're just doing credits. Oh. Uh, they could have been something. Uh, they should have said something. Well, I didn't know you were going to push the button. The whole narrative. They were smoking uh, weed. Did you not see them smoking? <laughs> <laughs> so that whole story was they were just, what is this? Oh, now we're going to do the adventures of the Magic Kingdom. All right, hey, he did it. Seven eight nine. He's the champion. Jeremy seven eight nine Duffy. Remember that name. Seven eight nine will kick you behind. <laughs> Him and his buddies in the jeep, high and drunk as shit, killing everybody. Here's your champion. That's gotta be the Nintendo. Oh, uh, Nintendo. Really? It's doing the same thing. We're doing the. It's doing the numbers on it. Huh? We have another number game. Maybe it'll be one two three this time. A, B, C. <laughs> hey, here we go. Capcom made this game. Could be good. Could be crappy. Do I say anything to your fans? <laughs> 789 following? No. Alright. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll say that. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Put it as Daniel Berserk. <laughs> it's a funnier name. Nice. Yeah. That way we'll get trolled on Facebook. Oh, we didn't change the game name. I need oh. to show you how to do this. Oh, okay. For later on. Um, Just double click it and then go. That's not going to show you. That's going to be way off the box. Um, you have to highlight the one you want. Okay. Like this one, and then right click and then hit configure. Okay. And then we'll bring it up. Gotcha. Uh, no, just, you, just call it, you just call it A in Magic Kingdom or Magic this Kingdom. This one annoying when you have to. Uh, you have to stretch it. Okay. That's not too bad. What program is this? You guys also, Mickey? That must have left you in the castle. <laughs> uh, this pro. Sometimes you have to make it bigger though to be able to. <laughs> Alright, uh, I see. Oh! Adventure! <laughs> Screwing it up! In the Magic Kingdom! <laughs> do you want me to do the voices of the characters while you're not here? <laughs> oh gosh there, Mickey! <laughs> hey, hey there, Goofy! Did you see that guy playing Jackal? He killed everybody! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I can't really do a good Donald. Oh, here we go. That's all I can do for Donald. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Donald! We need six keys to open the castle gates! And, uh, <laughs> I'm super high! Well, I'm not sure we're gonna left them! But somewhere in the Magic Kingdom! <laughs> oh, you see him there? He's got his shoulders slumped down. Yeah, he is! <laughs> Maybe we can find the six keys for us, huh? <laughs> find lots of attractions, but you have to ask! <laughs> I'm going for the sixth one! I'm sure you can do it! But please hurry! I have to get back to Kingdom Hearts 3! Which is never happening. You will never get Kingdom Hearts 3. Let's try out this joy. <laughs> Alright. Look at this game. We're a cowboy going through the Magic Kingdom in Disneyland. Yeah, but you're welcome for... <laughs> Our player is Jose Benitez. Right, Jose Benitez? Yeah. Okay. He is... <laughs> Mickey's friend Jose... Oh, what is Donald Duck's middle name? What the heck? Flauntalori? No, I say Percy. I say Percy. I say Percy. Oh, you were sure your friend? I didn't know Donald had a little name. You know what? Anyone in the chat that wants to help us out with this, please do. We have a little trivia here. We'll ask the question and see it. What is the name of Captain Hook's ship and Peter Pan? Are you sure? What was Goofy's first appearance? He had another name, what was it? I say the Goof! Oh, Dippy Dog! No, I was wrong! Dippy Dog, this is, is this a game or is this trivia? It's part of the game, yeah. Really? <laughs> Gosh, Mickey, I've been playing on meth all week! <laughs> oh, freaking six foot dog! No, that's so wrong. I'll tell you no. <laughs> okay, here we go. What was the first Mickey Mouse cartoon? Oh, everybody knows that one. That's Steamboat Willie. Yeah. It's oh. Jose didn't know it was Steamboat Willie. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't. Really? Actually, when I was playing, it, it was wrong. Really? Yeah. I thought that was the first. Wow. Shows what we know. Shows what? Okay. <laughs> Disneyland first open, that'd be, oh. 55? I say 55. That's a park, remember when? I saw the kill, uh, Silver Key, he's got a clue. In front of the Enchanted Castle, all right. Remember, uh, on Jurassic Park, he said when yeah. uh, Disney World opened in the 50s, nothing worked. Black Stash. Movies are true, yeah, oh, look at this. Uh, yeah, Alright, this is an awful version of the Ghostbusters driving sequence. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Capcom, too. I mean, they've made some great quality games on the NES, you know. I mean, they, all the Mega Man, DuckTales is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, even Street Fighter 2010, I don't like the game that much, but it's still playable. But this is, this is interesting. They probably just had a Disney license from the other games and just kept going with it. What is this? Yeah, He's like jumping that. over a river of diarrhea. Nothing says Disney like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean if, if Jose beats uh, Magic Kingdom he has to play Star Wars and X-Men since they're both Disney properties now? <laughs> Come on, who out there would not want to see Darth Vader fight Wolverine? Jeff Rob likes Street Fighter 2010. The final fight. That's what the official title is. It's a very confusing game. Alright, it's going through rivers. He hit the jump. He hit the goal. Rats, you beat me. Well, it deals with you. You'll take the key. <laughs> take the key. Rats. I guess uh, Bluto can't speak. You out of here? Yeah, I'm out of here. Alright, our Jackal champion's leaving for the night. See you, folks. He'll be back for Jackal 2. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be back. Alright. Have a good night. See you later. Alright, he's at the second station. He's seems he's racing a train. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is like a bad minecart ride. He obviously went the wrong way on that one, I guess. I really don't understand the point of this. I mean, just, it's kind of random. Oh, we got hit with a, a boulder. Bump and jump, you're right, yeah. 
<laughs> what game did they rip off for this train thing? This doesn't really seem like much of a game. Mostly, it's just uh, it's like just choose your path, I guess. Oh, he got a star power up. Whatever that does. There's dinosaur bones and boulders and the same dinosaur. A lot. That dinosaur died. The, the entire race of that dinosaur died right here. The whole entire species. <laughs> Bunch of fat pigs. Music is getting faster. And way more intense. Oh, we took a wrong turn. We're going back in. What ride is supposed to be on, you know? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, alright, so we don't know the names of this ride. Has anyone been to the Magic Kingdom or Disneyland or World so we know what, what ride we're on? Well, since we're all in Cincinnati, we can just have King's Island and start making up stuff. Yeah, the train ride from King's Island. Yeah, the train ride from King's Island. Yeah, they, since Cedar Point took over, it's... Where's the, where the Indians get to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually going over to Waterworks right now. It's insane. Like, they've upped the... It's crazy. So deadly. Alright, he's back at Pig Station. Speeding up. Alright, he missed the rock. He's doing good. Oh, oh, oh! He ran on the wrong track. This doesn't really seem like much of it. This one is like a game of memorization. Like, not really enough. That's it? Infinite continue. Oh, okay. Infinite continue. I was like, wow, this is... Seems he's passing the ice cream and candy cane bar. We've already got one key, so... Oh, nice. Okay. How many keys do you need? Six? Yeah. Alright. People say you know everything. Do you know this? How many ghosts are there in the haunted mansion? 999! He got it right! There's a silver key and then it's a small world. I hope he goes in there and just starts shooting little people. <laughs> That's so wrong! Uh oh! Mickey will be angry if it falls in the wrong hands! Uh oh! Not so evil. We have to answer this. Yeah, I know. Like, you're at the music park. You paid 36.95 to get in there. Why can't you get a key? <laughs> Screw you, Mickey! You jerk, you big eared rat bastard! <laughs> Alright, he got the seven dwarfs question. <laughs> Which one of the seven dwarfs has syphilis? All of them. <laughs> so, it's for creepers living in the woods, folks. You looking good for the dog? <laughs> what is that? That's easy, it's Pluto. It's Butch, I'm telling you, it's Butch. It's Butch, Butch the dog? Yes. <laughs> we should just, we should write a letter to Disney. Rename Pluto Bush. Pluto's no longer planet. Yeah. Pluto Bush. I'm a firm believer in saving Pluto. I don't care what they say, that's a planet. <laughs> Alright, he's now, oh, he's, here we go. What's the, uh, the question's gonna be, uh, let's just see him. What is the name of the film which Goofy appeared for the first time? Oh! They got it right! Heading for Autopia. Auto Autopia? This is a very happy game, it seems. To feed birds. <laughs> Where's the Mary Poppins NES game? We go around on rooftops and scare the crap out of children with umbrella. Uh oh. Which character in those stories is named Edward? Christopher Robin, right? Yeah. No? Oh, really? Singer? I guess. It's not Edward the Pooh. That doesn't sound right. This little pig made a house of bricks. Practical pig. That is not the three little pigs. Never heard the practical pig made the house of bricks. He's the, he's the conservative Republican pig. Is that it? <laughs> he's all pissed off at Obama. <laughs> Davy Crockett was in some state. We missed it. All right. Let's see what this question is. 
What's the first Academy Award winning her tune? Would it be Steve? No, wait, oh. It's not Steamboat Willie? No. This is a Disney game. Why are they promoting Disney stuff? I don't care about, like, three little things. <laughs> Which one of the seven dwarfs never speaks? That'd be dopey. Mickey Mouse's birthday. Ooh. Well, I was going to say 1928, but, uh... It's a crapshoot. Anyone know this? Anyone in the chat? No reply in the chat, man. Take a guess. Gee, thanks, guys. I know. It's not September, it seems. We're down to eight people after seven, eight, nine left. <laughs> Rescue Rangers, that'd be Chip and Dale. All right. So do you have to answer these questions to get keys or go into stuff? Just one, just that one key is the only one. Everything else I got to go to All right. It's now a side-scrolling action game. All right. Kind of came out of nowhere. This reminds me actually, well the background I should say reminds me a lot of Duck Hunt, or Duck Tales, not Duck Hunt. I can see Scrooge McDuck going through this. It's like the Transylvania stage in uh, Duck Tales. Just so anyone wants to know, I did look up which Winnie the Pooh character was once named Edward. Winnie the Pooh is actually named Edward. But then they changed that. Right. So I am the scary floating furniture. I guess it's a dancing couple too. Alright, it's progressing nicely. Oh, oh! Short change it. Doing all right? He's giving me the eyebrow. He's giving me the eyebrow. <laughs> Angry eyebrow. The classic NES flashing lights. <laughs> Just inverted colors, real quick. What's the candles for? Anything? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's why you're getting it. Alright, gotcha. Oh, no, he fell down a pit. That jump is very misleading. Life up, freeze, invincibility, one up. What are you, is it to buy them? Yeah. Oh. 
Eyebrow, in case anyone's watching, he's accessed the secret level of ghouls and ghosts. The ghost of Gotham. Yeah, it's a very short jump. It's tricky. I guess it's a player piano he's just passing. Take that dancing couple, dancing with the dead star. No one wants to see that crap. Yeah! Your score is negative! You're dead. Alright, we're back to the platforming section. It's doing good. It's a new chair! <laughs> Oh, I remember seeing this part. Oh, the book. Oh, they're not going to get started from the beginning, are they? Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Moving on. Moving on, we'll try something else. <laughs> wow, that sucks. And now Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean with Jack Sparrow. <laughs> That was a unique sound for a ladder. He picked up a winch. Because if you're in Pirates of the Caribbean, you gotta get the winches. He's gotta cure himself of syphilis later. Or scurvy, that's what it is. They had scurvy, not syphilis. Probably had both. See, this entire section of the world is on fire. <laughs> Nobody cares. This is an awful Disney ride. Another winch to pick up. Oh, she's a redhead. Let her burn. She's an evil witch. Hey. They burned redheads back then. It's behind them. Hold on. Pericado. Mercado? Mercado. What does that mean? I have no idea. Mercado in is burning and no one cares. The blue scorpion of death. There's obviously some radioactive gold piles. Another winch with blue hair. She's a goth girl in the anime. Oh no! That was cheap. That was cheap. Alright, you got some life up. Huh. I don't really... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, going back into Pirates of the Caribbean again.
back at the flaming pits of the Mercado with the evil redhead. Alright, Mercado! That's just the ending scene from Carrie, that's all it is. Just picking her up, like, hey, what's up, Carrie? Alright, back to the glowing gold piles with this cheap skeleton. Oh! Just missed it. Guess it's back to trivia time. Good thing we got infinite continues. Ooh, Space Mountain! So that's, this is not a roller coaster at all. It's like a bad scene from The Last Starfighter. Oh, he hit something! There's a planet, he took the planet out, alright. I think it was a planet. He could just be driving behind some more bad dandruff, we don't know. Oh, yeah, he, went, he went from A to B. Whatever that means. These are NES particle effects, cutting edge. I... you died? Yeah. Is it on star F? Oh, man. I F the planet fuck. Yeah. Take two. Seven for the cosmos. This guy get the planet F, made the planet B. Take that, Battlestar Galactica, Cylon bastards. Yeah, you took out Doctor Who? <laughs> Who else can take out? I think I see the ship from Prometheus coming in with an awful story. Yeah, that movie never just a blew them out of the water. Up next is oh, you hit by Highlander too. That atrocity still exists. It's amazing this game was made by Capcom. It's almost like they gave the B team this because Capcom is known for some amazing NES games. But even Chippendale Rescue Rangers one and two are fun games. But even like well, I think Yonoid is a bad game. They can't all be winners. But maybe this is made by the same team that made Yonoid. If you haven't played that game, don't. It's so bad. Oh, it's distorted. It might be the actual, uh, hold on, let me turn the, the power down, uh, gain. Is that better? The level, or are you hear is it the, the mic distorted in the level? Because hold on, let me, I can turn the gain down. How about now? Is that better? I'll oh, just keep going. Check, check, check. Is that better? Better volume for the mic? Alright, cool. Yeah, the game was just turned up way up. See, thank you for the input because we can't, I can't tell that. It's 
not still distorting, is it? Cool. All right. Yeah, the thought was gain was too high. Thank you, zombie. <laughs> Always on planet C. Just gotta get the planet F. Some planet D, getting closer. This is an awful level in the game. I just, I mean, this is just like bare bones, crappy gameplay. It's doing good. Planet E, we're almost there. Oh, oh, did you hit? Come on, put. You did it! You got Planet F! Alright! Four keys to go? Three keys. Three keys! Alright! I don't know, should I wait for him or should I just keep on going? Yes, no, maybe. Any answer from the chat room? I don't know, this this thing on. I commentate at the same time, but as you can tell, I have to concentrate really hard in order to beat some of these things. So, I'm going to just go ahead without them.
Oh, really? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Back in the dreaded... I think this might actually be the hardest part of the game. Who's all in the chat? Let's see how many people are left in here. Nine people, alright. I have to say, shockingly, for a Capcom game, the music in this isn't that great. Oh, just shortchanged it. Like, I mean, Capcom's known to be making amazing game music, too, so it's kind of shocking that this game does not have that great of music. Melvin the head? <laughs> Melvin and George, alright. My friends are watching the stream and some of them are like, What the hell game is he playing? <laughs> I'm like, It's the Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. They're like, What the hell is that? Some of them's like, why are you a cowboy? <laughs> Cowboys with candles make sense in video games. So is anyone in the, in the stream right now, has anyone actually been to Arcade Legacy? Are you in Cincinnati? It's located at the Cincinnati Mills Mall, which used to be the old Forest Fair Mall, which I believe now is just called the Cincinnati Mall. Um, it's right next to the food court. Zombie, if you're not from Cincinnati, I strongly suggest taking a trip just to check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's about uh, 20 minutes north of Newport. $10 a day gets you all the gaming pleasures you can imagine. Everything here is free to play, except for the brand new X-Men Pinball Machine, which is a 2013 game. Uh, like brand new made, just for Jesse and Arcade Legacy. So other than that, everything's here free, free to play. I can't speak today. Um, you can play the X-Men Pinball game, though, on Fight Night. He's got uh, probably 60 to 70 arcade machines. Um, 2012? <laughs> Uh, he's got like, uh, oh, it's 2012, sorry, 2012, actually, he's not with the X-Men game. It's a 2012 X-Men pinball machine. I thought it was 2013. He just got it this year. <laughs> um, awesome game, though. It's really fun. And he has a current deal deal right now that, um, he's in Newport, Jesse. Uh, the way it works is if you come here, and this is open to anybody in the pinball machine, uh, X-Men, if you get in the top score, you get a free pass for the day. And if you beat Jesse's high score, which is 74, 75 million, you get a free 30-day pass. 
All far as you in the game. You've got how many keys left? Two keys? He's got two keys to get. He's got 35, you got 35 minutes for two keys. Yeah, it's a uh, zombie. It's a really fun place, man. He's got like, 60, 70 arcade machines, um, all different kinds. I mean, all kinds of great fighting games here. Yeah, everything you can think of. And then he's got, I don't know, probably close to two to 4,000 console games and a humongous media center. Everything from Atari to current generation. N Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega CD, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, uh, Game Boy. I think there's some 32X games. Possibly uh, oh, a Sega Nomad here. I mean, you, you think about it, we got it. PS1, PS2, uh, they've got, I mean, all kinds of CDs, DVDs, anime books, Star Wars figurines. They've got some WWF wrestling bears right now. And when you come here, everything is, uh, once you pay admission, uh, it's free to play. Yeah, I think he had an Atari Jaguar at one point. I know he had, I think he sold it, though. Um, he might have one still here. Pretty much anything comes in, it's crazy. And you can try out anything before you want to buy it. So, I mean, like, you can come here and... There's a whole bunch of Famicom games, too, that are kind of fun to play. Uh, if people don't know what that is, that's the Japanese version of the NES. Uh, so you can try those games out. DDR Machines, Hydro Thunder, Six-Player X-Men is very fun to play. Two screens. Four-Player Simpsons, Four-Player Ninja Turtles arcade game. I mean, yeah, you can play on an Xbox Live Arcade, but that is nowhere near as fun as actually the real arcade machine. Nice! You got it! Good gosh! You don't look like a goose! <laughs> I hate Goofy. No, it's not the same at all, Zombie. It's way more fun when someone's next to you. You can hit their elbows, mess them up. Back to Pirates. He's on the last key to the Magic Kingdom. If you beat this, you can pick another game of your choosing if you can beat it in half hour. Let's tear through Contra real quick. Two player Contra, tear it up. You wanna do it no 30 lives code? <laughs> do it the real way? It's not that hard. No, <laughs> we're not gonna see. Yes, if you come up to Newport, Kentucky once a year, uh, zombie, definitely come check it out. They have weekly gaming tournaments too. Um, sometimes there's like special tournaments going on. It just depends on what's going on. Follow him on Facebook. Um, it's just Arcade Legacy on Facebook. I remember they had like a really cool Atari party this summer, and uh, some one of the patrons here who was running it brought in an actual Atari cake. It was the Atari controller, but just set up as a cake. It was huge. It was fun, too. Oh, he shortchanged it. We had a Berserk, uh, or Berserk, what was it called? Kaboom contest, from which I actually won that, and then I played Jesse, the owner here, which he said was a boss fight, and, like, the highest score I got was maybe, like, 3,000 in Kaboom. He broke a world record that day. Got, like, 20,000 in one game. It was insane. It wasn't even close. You can actually, I think you still can see that on the stream here. Yeah, you can watch him do it. Um... It was a long Kaboom tournament. Uh, it was very fun. Uh, had a good time. But you can watch him. He's just a master at Kaboom. We just destroyed everybody. It wasn't even a fair fight, man. It's, I got I got a brutal just destroyed. Also, if you're into Mortal Kombat, I recommend coming up on Thursdays. Um, there's a kid here named Nick who's probably the best Mortal Kombat player I've ever seen in my life. Uh, as in terms of like Mortal Kombat 3 or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat 2, he can just destroy anybody. And they play everything on Fight Night from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 to Street Fighter 4 to, I believe, Persona 4. Um, Vampire Savior is pretty fun to play. That's Dark a version of Dark Darkstalkers if you don't know that game very well. I'm hoping to find Primal Rage. <laughs> Get that one coming back. All right, he's back in the Pirates of the Caribbean, picking up the goth chick. Oh, he did! He made the jump. Doing good, doing good. Oh, we're in a new section. What is this? 
there's a big nosed thing coming at you. And there's a little purple guy sitting on a very phallic looking cannon. Come on. What is that? Come on. The position of it and everything. Yeah, Primal Rage is not very good at all. It's just funny. Like, I remember back in the 90s when they had the huge fighting cra game craze. Like, you go into an arcade, and there was, like, Mortal Kombat 2 had just come out, and everyone was all fighting to get on it. And then there was Super Street Fighter 2, and it was like, wow, this is awesome. And then there was uh, this game called Primal Rage, and we're like, <laughs> what is this? It sounded awesome. Dinosaurs that fight and have fatalities. You know, and I think one of the most famous fatalities is one of the monkeys, I'm not sure which one, will piss on you and kill you. Um... <laughs> not a good game whatsoever. It's it's awful, awful, awful game. I would love a Killer Instinct tournament that personally. Just the Ultra Combo! I used to love that game back in the day. Yeah, it, it, it did look incredible back in the day. I mean, it kind of holds up now, but like, man, when that first came out, like, Cause that's when it's still the Ultra 64 and everyone's like, oh, Nintendo's new system is going to destroy everybody. <laughs> yeah, the infinites are ridiculous. There's a time limit on this level? Where's the time limit though? They don't tell you the time limit. Did you do it? Or no? One second. You gotta pause the game to see a time limit? Yes. What a crappy feature in a game. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is... That is off. What was Capcom thinking? Like, this had to be their B team. There's no way this is the a the guys making Mega Man and DuckTales and Chippendale. And there's just no way. This had to be some kind of awful... Like, these are the, the beta testers. They're like, alright guys, we'll give you a shot. You're all fired, every one of you. They probably said in Japanese, You're not good! You'll be leaving now! <laughs> You're fired! You come here anymore! That's so wrong. Yeah, they could have had a tie from top. <laughs> That's just how I imagine Capcom working. <laughs> just screaming like that. <laughs> I imagine Nintendo is way worse because I know what Miyamoto has said plenty of times he will stand over your shoulders. Uh, in interviews and like watch people who are working on his games and like just critique him but you know he should because his games are phenomenal whatever he works is like golden I mean even Wii Music like Wii Music sucks it is an awful awful game that is like probably the black mark on his record of pretty amazing games but it's still sold like 5 million units so it's like <laughs> even his worst game still sells an insane amount I just imagine Miyamoto being like really angry <laughs> What do you do to my Zelda? <laughs> Gives someone like a sword, tells him to do Harikiri, get out of his office. Are you supposed to get all the girls? Is that what you're supposed to do with this one? Okay. So as a pirate, he's got to get all the ladies, get all the wenches. He's going on a long trip. He wants some options, some variety. Plenty of redheads who burn down buildings. There's the time limit. I can't believe they have the time limit on the top of the screen. That is ridiculous. I just thought of something. When we get to the B series, uh, once we get through some of the A games, we have to actually play Bad Street Brawler, which is only playable with a power glove. Oh, that will be, that will be awful. <laughs> that poor soul is gonna have to try and beat a game with the power glove. It's only playable with the power glove. Bad Street Brawler. It's not even a good game. Like Super Glove Ball, you can kind of, kind of play sometimes. It kind of works, but ooh. Bad Street Baller is awful. It would be kind of fun to play some games with the U-Force. The U-Force actually does work in some retrospectives. But yeah, I'm not going to lie, Zombie Man. I asked for that for Christmas because I saw the wizard. I saw the commercials for the Power Glove. 
I thought it looked amazing. I was like, I can play with my hands. This is insane. It's going to be the, the future of gaming, motion controls, and uh, it was awful. And then in 2006, when I saw the Wii, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> there's motion controls I can play with my hands. This is the future of gaming. You got me twice, Nintendo. Not again. Never again. <laughs> The Wii's not bad. You can play some fun games. There are some fun games on the Wii. Oh no, the time limit! Not fair at all. Alright, you did it! You got the wench! I got one more. One more? Where's she at? I don't know. Oh, just run! Just, just go, man! Just go! Go down? Go up? Aww. Oh, we are so close. Got 25 minutes, man. You can do it. We should have a contest here with like the wizard, get the Nintendo World Championship cart, and then whoever comes to third place has to wear like, the Moira Grissom hair. You see that movie, right? The wizard? No? Oh, never mind. He has no idea what I'm talking about. It's a 90 minute Nintendo commercial. Oh, I know. With I mean, it was cool when I was a kid. I was going nuts in the theater. Oh, it's, I don't know. I, I got nostalgia eyes, so I, I know it's crappy, but everything in me is like, I love this movie just for the. Yeah, for those who um, might not have never saw the wizard. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome, zombie. <laughs> I don't know if we can actually read the, uh, the chat in the stream, but I have to tell that joke. So zombie said, I got a power glove in my game room. <laughs> The one day, uh, the one day, my daughter, seven years old, saw it and said, "What is that?" I said, "Unlike you, honey, it was a mistake." <laughs> the wife even laughed at that one. That's pretty funny. Yeah, for anyone who hasn't seen the actual wizard, um, it, it doesn't. I mean, it's, it's still it's an awful movie, but it's hysterical that it was the first time because there was no internet back then. We had to rely on movies and Nintendo Power for all of our you know, video game information, or GamePro or EGM or something like that, or video game trips, tips and tricks, as an old magazine. Uh, and The Wizard was the first time anyone had any clue that Super Mario Bros. 3 was happening. So I remember seeing it with like five of my friends, and like a couple of our parents took us there, because you know, movies back then were like 275, and we're like, yeah, we're all going to check out this movie called The Inside. It's a kid's watch video games and be happy. And um, when Mario 3 went on, the entire theater just started screaming hysterical. And I just remember all these parents being like, what in the hell is going on? Like, they freaked out. I mean, you know, like most of the kids, we didn't do anything in the movie, we laughed a little bit, or like, you know, show us this game, what's he playing, Double Dragon, or, okay, that's cool, he's on Ninja Gaiden. And then all of a sudden, like, Mario 3 hits, and everyone just starts going completely batshit crazy. It goes, ah! And screaming, shaking their friends, and I just remember all the parents getting so scared, like not knowing. I mean, a couple of them actually left the theater and went to go talk to the manager, like, what kind of horrible movie is this? All my kids are screaming, I don't know what's going on, and they couldn't understand the excitement. And then the first thing we did after watching the movie was, oh, you died again? <laughs> you can do it, man, I believe in you. The first thing we did after the theater, and I'm not kidding about this, is the same thing most people do when they see that movie. We're like, how in the world did Jimmy know where that warp whistle is. There was, and that's how we all knew where that warp whistle was the first time we played it. There was no way you would know that whistle was there. There was no clue, no hints, and some people have like, there's actually been like, I know that once a year there's a wizard con or wizard festival in like Austin, Texas, where they actually get like, Fred Savage has gone to it, so some of the people like Tobey Maguire and other actors from the sh movie, and they've debated on how Jimmy knew. Was he just that good? Did he cheat? Did a Nintendo Power Guy guy hint to him because they're paying so much money in the Vegas hotel? Which back then is, you know, perfectly plausible that kids could just roll into town and stay in a hotel and nobody see their parents. Nobody cared back then. It was the 80s. We're all high on cocaine. It's fine. And I will say this. Uh, at one point, I guess we're going to do Miracle Piano System. I will attempt to speed run that game. Uh, I will <laughs> play the living crap out of it. All right, he's back in the Pirates of the Caribbean. I can't believe we still have to do a time limit on this. It's ridiculous. All right, he's got the jump down. Oh, 
102 seconds. Did you ever find out where the other girl was? Oh, really? So for the nine people left in the feed, I got a question for you, since we're talking about video game movies. Which video game movie do you actually think is the worst video game movie? Uh, I know there's a lot of bad ones out there, you know, Mario Brothers, Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, Double Dragon, <laughs> Street Fighter the movie, Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li, the awful one, um, The Last Starfighter is a video game movie, uh, you know, so which one do you guys actually think is the worst, or one of the worst ones you've ever seen? Mario Brothers, really? Have you seen Double Dragon? <laughs> oh, I lit the campfire, alright! I don't know who that guy is, but he's got a silver key. Alright, so we got one vote from Mario Brothers. I mean, it was pretty it was pretty bad. It did have some good actors in it, though. Oh, with the ending? The door's open, and... Mickey... You found all the keys! That's great! <laughs> There's a fat guy playing a tuba. Gee, thanks! <laughs> Oh, Donald, I can't do Donald, here we go. <laughs> That's what Donald says. I better go open the gate! The marching band's waiting! We got hundreds of millions of dollars to make! I gotta buy Star Wars later! <laughs> okay, everybody, let's go. That's it? That's the ending? Why are you wearing a pink shirt now? And got your crotch sticking out. Mickey shoes. Why does Goofy have a creepy look on his face? Look at him! He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna take you back in my van! <laughs> Goofy, not Goof Troop, buddy. The best Donald, you like that? They're all in the Donald voice. <laughs> so we did it. We have a second champion tonight. Jose Benitez is your champion of Adventures in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> well, you got 18 minutes. You wanna go ask Jess if you can beat Contra in 18 minutes? Oh god, I can never do that. <laughs> we can do it with the 30 live code. You wanna say something to anybody on there? Fuck. Yeah. How is he sort his fuck? <laughs> or as Donald would say, <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Here's Donald's. Whack! <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever hear that? The Donald's sex tape they had on the radio? Uh, there's a, there's a guy who can do Donald's voice. He used to work for Disney, but he obviously quit, and he sounds just like him, and he starts doing like a Donald sex voice. He's like, <laughs> and it's like, it's hysterical. You can find that stuff on YouTube. It's just like, you, I first time I heard it, I was like, what's going on? All right, so that's the ending, I guess. It's just yeah, him blinking with his crotch out. Who stands like that? Look, at, look how he's standing. I'm a champion! <laughs> <laughs> we sh you know what? Let's find some guys and pose like that real quick for the camera. Well, you're, you're the champion, so you have to stand in front and go like this. Yeah. Hold on, we're going to be back. We're going to find three other guys. <laughs> just, for, just for this stream, we're going to get... This is going to be awful. It's going to be on the internet forever. Alright, we need a goofy Adama. Uh, it's a goofy. Just for this stream. You get to see all of us with our crotches out. Kind of.
Get ready to take your screen caps. Here we go. I hope we got some screen caps of that <laughs> at the end. <laughs> well, they're laughing. Zombie's enjoying it. There you go. If you enjoy the stream, we'll be back every single Wednesday from 8 to 12. Uh, we do this for you to die trying. Uh, in case any of you are asking about the mystery game, here it is. It is D-Pad Hero. A custom hack. Jesse has all kinds of games like that here. Um, you ask him, he's probably got it. Uh, so we might do... Uh, well, we still got 15 minutes. You can you try another game. Yeah, we can play it. What? In Contra? 15 minutes? What? Go ask him real quick. Hold on. Who wants to see Contra? Let's see if anyone wants to see, see Contra try and beat in 15 minutes? He might see it for another day, but we'll find out. We gotta speed run it real quick, go through it, like just just go, man. Get the spread gun, don't stop. We're wasting time, we should go ask Jesse real quick. We'll be right back. Oh yeah, so we gotta get yeah, a vote for Contra. Okay, we are back. We're actually, <laughs> we can't do Contra because it seems we're sold out of it. So instead, we are going to play a game that is an abomination. We'll have to save Contra for another day. So here we go. This is Nintendo's first video board game. And we're not going to actually play this in the series. We're just doing it today because we have time. This is the one, the only, Anticipation. <laughs> Get ready for some crappy gameplay. I'm going to join <laughs> Jose in this, so here we go. You've all been anticipating it. You know <laughs> You've all been anticipating this game. Here we go. <laughs> Isn't that the best music ever? Yeah! With the lips and the trademark. It's by Rare! Oh, 
There is, there is no way that is not a cross or a plus. That is bullcrap. Oh, it's a shield. It's Link's shield, of course. This game sucks. <laughs> Oh no, it's not too bad. This game's awful. Yeah. 
that'll wrap it up for the evening. See you next week for the Adventures of Bayou Billy and uh, Adventure Island 3, which will probably also not get beaten. <laughs> and uh, I think there's something else we're going to toss in there, too. It'll be a surprise. See you later.